Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory. I give you honor this time. King of kings, take over as I speak. That your name may be glorified. Glorify yourself, O Lord, through me as I share in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Florence Miner, welcoming you to yet another time of celebrating your moment with joy this beautiful day. It is the day that the Lord has made that you and me should rejoice and be glad in it. And no matter what could be going on in your life, you have a reason to praise the Lord. I know you have a reason because you are breathing. I know you have a reason because you, you slept in a bed. On, you know, some people don't even have beds. I know you have a reason to praise the Lord, because you have a house to sleep that where you live in now. Mm. I know you have a reason to thank God because you have children. And even if you don't have your biological children, God has entrusted you spiritual children to bring them forth in the ways of the Lord. I know you have a reason to praise the Lord because you have a job. And for those who are in America, I know you and they are immigrants, I know you have a reason to thank God because there was a time you were crying for that visa. Remember those times? You went down time, a second time, a third time. Hello, do not forget that you need to thank God. Oh, the title of my message will be What do you trust in? Some people trust their strength. Some people trust their riches. Some people trust their parents. Some people trust their spouses. Some people trust oh, their readers. It is good to do all that. But it is good to recognize that there is the king of kings. There is the one who is in charge of each and everything. And David, one of my favorite characters, realized this and said, I'm going to refer to Psalms uh, chapter 20, verse 6 and 7. It says, now I know that the Lord saved his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord. As many trust in many things, how I pray that you will choose to trust in the name of the Lord. Some people trust in their strength, but when their strength fails, they get depressed. They become hopeless. I want to tell you, it is good when we have money. I also work because I want money, but I don't put all my trust in money because I know it is just a legal tender that is used. Because if God chooses to bless me, I don't, do not have to have a... A legal, that legal tender called Dora. God can bless me when I'm sleeping by commanding you wherever you are to be a blessing to me and to the ministry. Oh, I don't know what you could be going through. Let us not just cross our uh, one eye and uh, when we are looking to God. Look to God and trust him totally. Knowing that he is the one who has said that his word will never go back to him void without accomplishing what he has Purpose to do. Let us trust in the Lord. There's many trust in many things. We are going to get these things. It's okay. It's Especially when it comes to the issue of money. If someone hear me that they are going to be thinking, what is you talking about? Of course, yes, I work because I need money. But I don't put my trust in money. It is good. And I, I just try to emulate my God because my God is a hard-working God. He works 24-7, 366 days providing for the needs of his people. That's why I have to go and work. You need to work. But don't put your trust in that work. You know, I came to realize that there are things that we don't even realize their impact on. Sorry to say, but for example, like now, if I die, my job they're just going to look a replacement. But my children will never have a replacement of another mother. Hmm. As a father, when you go to that job, don't put all your trust in that job until you forget your family because if you happen to die and God forbid, anyway, it's appointed for a man who wants to die, you're not going to die because of that. I want to tell you, your position will be filled very quickly, but nobody will at your place of work, but nobody will feel that position of being a father to your children, of being a mother to your children. 
So let us praise our priority site as we trust in the Lord because blessings are given by our God in whatever way. What am I saying? Let us put our priorities right. May the Lord help you. And as the scripture said, some trust in chariots and others in horses, but we'll choose to trust in the name of the Lord. Choose to trust the name of the Lord. Be a very good steward at your place of work, but do not worship that job. Worship only the Lord alone and all these other things will be under that. May the Lord bless you. Let us continue to share this message with as many people as you can and the Lord will bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to realize that this far you have brought us, you are Ebenezer. And whatever we go through, whatever we have gotten with our own hands, it's because you've given us the strength. And in that, Lord, we need to grieve you all the glory and to trust you for it. Oh God Almighty, help us also to set our priorities right and put boundaries to those things that may come to affect or restrict us from serving you and giving you the first place in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. You are there, you have never trusted the Lord. Maybe because you've been putting trust in so many things. I want to tell you the best trust, the best thing you can do to yourself is to trust the Lord because he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Are you there? Can you say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I realize I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sin. Make me a new creature. Give me a desire to grow in the spiritual life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to tell you you have become a Christian. Next a step. Look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel for your spiritual growth. When you go there, do not hide yourself. Identify yourself and join a group of believers where you can be able to share the word of God for your spiritual growth. I love you and God loves you most. Remember to subscribe and continue praying for this ministry. Amen.